Hello and welcome back everyone to uh, Wings of Liberty Campaign Part 14 and in this episode of Rocket Rabbit Commentaries we'll be continuing on to the first of the Zero Tool Prophecy missions. We will be finishing this one and getting at least into the next one, uh, this part. The foreboding prophecy weighs heavily on my heart. So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. Yes, if you uh, if you go too fast, uh, you can actually end up skipping uh, some of the voice acting. This part terrible for speedruns. I agree. Position based scripting. So what is new in the world of Cloud as we attempt to uh, gather up the remaining pieces of the prophecy using our Blake Stalkers? Uh, more rainy weather on our rather humid day. And, uh... Also open to the idea of having uh, airy reverb on narrative style voice acting. Very nice. Very nice blizzard. I agree. And what's new in uh, the, the whole world reason of why they had the reverb is is due to the fact that they're uh, that they're Protoss and what they are supposed to uh, and they are supposed to have a uh, a different manner of speaking than the Terrans do. Well, to make them to make them mutually distinct, yes. Terrans are neither infested nor children of the stars. Mm, well, which is weird because they're technically both of those things, but. That's that's neither here nor there. Honor commands. Honor commands the crab army. Crab people. Mm, like as we'll get uh, as we'll get into uh, the uh, the deeper aspects of the war, it turns out that humans were technically a mistake in this part of the galaxy. They should have stayed on Earth where they belong. Come on, Zeratul, destroy the little the little grublings so that they don't deal no, damage to the tanks. It's just that it's just that he doesn't have any AOE attacks, so it's difficult for him to do. Like, guys, move out of the way. Hold still, I'll get him off your back. <laughs> yeah, keeping all your stalkers alive for this segment. I uh, I forget if it. No, it's not uh, this segment that wants you to to do that. Um, or is it? There are two segments uh, in StarCraft II where you're get where you're given a limited number of stalkers, and and one of the achievements is to keep all of your stalkers alive. It's a bit diff it's a bit difficult for me since my micro is actually pretty terrible, but uh, but you do get the reinforcements uh, should you lose your uh, should you lose a stalk uh, uh, should you lose any. So it's not that big of a deal, at least for at least for completing the mission. Prepare for an aerial attack. Brace yourselves, my brethren. Now we're going to the aerial segment, everyone. There are no save states in StarCraft 2. Nah, not for lack of trying. I mean, you uh, you can save effectively at any uh, effectively at any point. So. One of the big issues that I have with uh, uh, microing the Blink Stalkers is the fact that Blink takes uh, takes a while to recharge, and um, it is very easy to separate your Blink Stalkers from each other uh, with missed Blinks. <laughs> so you have to you have to wait until the recharge meter fills up so you can undo your mistake. Yeah. All right, so to Blink down. Mm. My allegiance We're taking pokes. And there we go. Kill them softly. <laughs> what you're supposed to do in this segment is actually uh, avoid the overseers or use void pris or use void prism in your stalkers in order to kill them first. But you know, we didn't take all that much damage. So, it's fine. Uh, it was a quiet night in Zergland. Me and the bros were bar hopping. Destroying this ro this set of rocks doesn't do anything for us anymore because we decided to blink down instead of walk around. Attack to destroy. Attack to destroy. 
Well done. And we get fully healed afterwards. Yay! Yay. Your hope is an illusion, old fool. Well, that may be, but, you know, uh, illusion or not, is we still choose to believe in it. never give up so long as hope remains. Yes, hope. Careful now. Kerrigan has set guards to bar our way. It could be a trap. We should take them out carefully, one at a time, or risk being yes. overwhelmed. You know, like Thanks they've all been... Uh, risking being overrun <laughs> isn't actually a thing that we had to worry about because uh, five stalkers take down three mutilisks very easily, even without spellcaster support. You spellcaster. I wish Meatless crew were better as single units, but they're just not. They're not supposed to be good in singles, for the record. They're uh, they're objectively supposed to be uh, good in swarms. You know, like most Zerg units, with the exception of the Ultralisks. Also, what's new in the world of Mr. Gerda while we very quietly take out these Banelings? Um... A, a little bit. I've been playing a bunch of Hades now that it's uh, free on Game Pass. Um, nice. I have been enjoying a lot of my time with Hades, despite the fact that I'm only actually good with one weapon in it. And uh, I have a thing I'm officially halfway through getting the actual ending, now uh, Now that I've cleared it five fucking times. I dislike that, that the true ending of Hades requires ten clears, to be perfectly honest. I think that it should have been three clears. Well, just be thankful it doesn't go to such extravagant lengths as the Binding of Isaac. Well, it's trying to do the thing that Binding of Isaac does. It's just better at it than Binding of Isaac, specifically because Binding of Isaac has got absolutely terrible, uh, an absolutely terrible control scheme. And it's really hard. Uh, Binding of Isaac is hard, is hard specifically because of the things it refuses to give you. Like, there's a lot, the, like, there's a lot of, um, uh, somewhat standard, uh, somewhat standard uh, tools that uh, other roguelikes in, uh, in that style would give you, and Binding of Isaac just refuses to give give them to you. Like, there's very little mitigation of the RNG in and out Binding of Isaac, <laughs> and it mean, and it means that specific characters are just created better than others. Which which run is going to be the run that makes the run that is actually the run? That is the question. And a lot of practice, too. And I think I've actually only uh, seen Mom once in Binding of Isaac. I'm not good at Binding of Isaac, like, at all, but... I would I would like to believe that I'm good enough to at least get to Mom at least, at least the first time. Yeah, and then when you get when you put as many hours into the game as my buddy has, then you get specifically to the moment where you have to unlock Mega Satan or whatever by specifically getting killed by Mom's footstomp attack, which is a very specific animation and requires you to be paying attention and also to commit suicide at that moment, forfeit the run in order to start another run, which creates the conditions for you to find like true Satan or something. Yeah, you know, stupid shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Honestly, I do agree that that specifically is real is really fucking stupid that you had to Mega Satan specifically by suiciding at the very end of the run. That that is terrible. However, a, a most a majority of the other unlocks in Binding of Isaac are fine. Hey, Karas, this is the only time we'll get to see you. My force tracked the Queen of Blades to this world, yet we know not what she seeks. She seeks everything. <laughs> And I well, everything in regards to the prophecy. prophecy. The prophecy. Your aid. It has been foretold. Discover it before her. It is an honor, great one. Lead on. Lead on through all of this shit that we just got a sweet aerial drone view of. Mm, come on, Jen the Stalker. Thank you. Alright, take uh, out the, the and Ezra requests us to do avoid prison the ultralisk. Now, Zeratul's Void Prison is honestly a great goddamn spell. I really wish he kept this going into the uh, prologue of um, Legacy of the Void. Instead he gets Void Armor, which is arguably which is arguably a better spell, but um uh, it's uh it is a it's just not uh, it's just not as uh it's just not as uh 
Um, it, it's just not as satisfying to use as uh, Void Prism is. Oh, Void Prism is, is a freaking amazing ability. It's, it controls. It removes one of your opponent's units, probably his most powerful unit, from commission. For a temporary amount of time. Mm, keep the stalkers up here for now. To take down the Nidus worms. Once the, all three Nidus worms are dead, then we can go and get the final bonus objective. It's the Nidus touch. There we go. The worms are down. Now was our chance. But void prison. Void prison. Now the other one. Don't go to. Don't go to that objective yet. We need. Uh, we specifically need to. Uh, come on. There. Yes. Oh my God! The blank. I will erase. Yes, I have missed this particular. I have missed this particular bonus objective a bunch in in, in my playthroughs. So. Joseph go, comrade. And now we have to wait for the last, not last guy's blink to recharge again. Uh, attack to destroy. How very dark over souls. There. And one of our stalkers still failed to blink over because he was too far back. Blah. Uh, is it cool? The Queen of Blades seeks to pervert this world with that hatchery. I must destroy Oh, Kerrigan's already perverted my world, baby. It's kind of we it's kind of weird that there, that there arose such not, well, it's kind of weird to me that there arose such a uh, uh, such a, uh, a groundswell of support for uh, for infested Kerrigan. I mean, she's I mean, she's the secondary mil uh, she's the secondary villain of StarCraft One, and she's the primary villain of Star uh, StarCraft of uh, StarCraft Brood War. And and she's also and she's also technically the primary villain of Wings of Liberty. So, it, I just find it's a tad weird that uh, we got a groundswell of support for uh, for her. Um. Uh, uh, after Wings of Liberty, or rather, well, actually, it would have been after StarCraft One, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, getting it after StarCraft One actually makes sense to me. So, and well, here is the final piece of the prophecy: the seventy-five percent male population in Blizzard Entertainment's customer base agrees. Carrigan is fucking dope. It's kind of weird that she seeks this prophecy, though, given uh, given what's going on in the background. But oh, there she is. You might hey, Miss Kerrigan. Prophecies, layer, Saratul, but you cannot outrun the doom that awaits us all. Kerrigan, you're an instrument of that doom at the moment. So why are you being so cryptic about this? We cannot prevail against so many. I will stand against the Queen of Blades while you escape with the fragments. I mean, if we void prison the Ultralisk, you guys can probably kill this uh, this uh, this force quite easily, Karas. So the prophecy is more important than either of us. Reveal its secrets, Seratul. The future rests. Yeah, or else we gotta okay. talk about. Or else we gotta talk to Dumbledore about the whole thing or some shit. Your sacrifice. Well, we do have to talk to Dumbledore, but he's not named Dumbledore. Mother. I mean, Zeratul is technically uh, uh, Zeratul is technically the, the Dumbledore of StarCraft too. So, of course, you're not allowed to save Karras because that would allow you to get into combat with Kerrigan. We can't be doing that yet. It's too early. Uh, Kerrigan, although is here, we wouldn't actually engage her in combat uh, by saving Karras. No, running, running, running. The bonus. Uh, one of the uh, achievements in in this part is uh, making it to uh, to the end of the level by uh, with with four or more stalkers saved. It is totally possible to do that right here. Uh, you just have you just have to actually have better micro than what I've got usually. Yeah. Take out the overlord. And blink over, and there we go. Ha ha! We got here with five. Woo. Nice. Sweet. We've done it. And in the next episode, we'll con 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 continue on with the prophecy missions. This spaceship is, is shaped like the Halo 2 plasma sword. Uh, 
Not on purpose, but yeah, I think it's <laughs> I think it's supposed to be another Warhammer reference for the uh, from the Eldar, but I wouldn't know. I don't know anything about the Eldar's uh, space uh, spacecrafts. Uh, Self-referential humor. Whispers of doom. Mm. But yes, uh, Stalker Delight. That's the one where. Uh, yep. Uh, where we have to get at least four stalkers. Be safe, everybody.